Hello everyone, my name is Pedro Gamisi and I work as the leader of the machine learning group at Helmholtz Zentrum de Gelsen Rosendorf and I also work as, the, uh, as a uh, research professor and a, a senior PI at the Institute of Advanced Research in Artificial Intelligence or IRA in short. The title of the presentation that I chose here is From Text to Image and Back. Why I chose this particular title? Because here in this presentation, I'm going to provide you with two examples. In the first example, I'm going to generate realistic remote sensing images from text. And in the second uh, uh, example, I'm going to discuss change captioning or producing text from images. And this is why I chose from text to images and batch. Before starting my presentation, I would like to appreciate these two young scientists, uh, these two bright minds who, who have developed most of the works that I'm going to present today. Dr. Yong Kao Zhu and Dr. Shi Zhen Chang uh, from the Institute of Advanced Research in Artificial Intelligence and from the AI for RS group, where I have the chance to, to lead the group. Well, uh, we are now in the era of massive data acquisition. It is now completely possible that uh, we have uh, a wide variety of uh, remotely sensed data from all over uh, the earth and, 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 um, and we can have different uh, products out of these uh, images and data sets as well. And this shapes the backbone of multimodal data integration because we want to use uh, different modalities at the same time to, to somehow improve uh, the quality of the downstream tasks that we have. But one of the modalities which hasn't been investigated to its full potential is text descriptions. So what I want to do here is to, to integrate text descriptions and remote sensing uh, data sets together for uh, a variety of applications. So the, the first example uh, is uh, based on image generation from text. And the title of the uh, paper that I'm going to present is text to image MHN. Remote Sensing Image Generation from Text Using Modern Hotfield Network, which has been um, um, accepted uh, at IEEE Transactions on Image Processing. And here you can find uh, all the uh, associated codes and uh, archive papers. And for this work, I had the chance to work with Yong Kao Zhu, Wei Fang uh, Yu, my, uh, Michelle Kopp, and Seb Pochreiter. But uh, text to image generation. So, so uh, it, its uh, name already says everything. So here we want to uh, produce realistic images from text descriptions. Uh, and uh, maybe uh, the most pioneering work uh, in this era was in the uh, in the computer vision community and was based on generative adversarial network or GAN. In GAN, we have two networks: the generator uh, and the discriminator. In the generator part, we try to produce realistic images based on the text prompts that we have here, the text description that we have as the input. And uh, after that, the discriminator tries to do differentiate between real and fake images. And through this mean-max game between the generator and discriminator, the generator learns to produce more realistic images to fool the discriminator. And here you can see some of the examples uh, uh, which has been generated by this pioneering work, text conditional GAN. And the, out, uh, the quality of the output was with the size of 64 by 64 pixels. In order to further improve the quality of uh, uh, images generated by GAN, uh, uh, Generative Adversarial Wattware Network was proposed, which could produce uh, images with, uh, with, with the quality of 128 by 128 pixels. Here, in addition to the text descriptions, we use some key locations to guide our generator to produce more realistic images, and with that, we could improve the quality of the images. Uh, another work is a stack GAN in which we use two GANs. So in the first GAN, we try to produce low quality, lay, uh, low quality images uh, with the size of 64 by 64. And then we use these images as the input for the second GAN to produce higher quality images with the size of 256 by 256. And uh, here you can see some results generated by a stage one and a stage two of a stack. Yeah.
And as you can see, uh, in the stage two, we can produce uh, images with higher qualities than uh, the images in stage one. Well, uh, the concept of image generation from text has been revolutionized by the creation of DALI, later known as DALI version one. Uh, and uh, and uh, this particular approach is based on transformers and it has two stages. In the first stage, we use VQVAE to produce the image embedding. After that, we, uh, we can use the image embedding to, uh, uh, together with text embedding to produce realistic uh, natural images. Uh, Dolly is, is, uh, is a high weight network and, and here we have 12 billion parameters to train. And, and in order to train that, the inventors of uh, Dolly version 1 use 250 million pairs of text and images, which is, of course, impossible to have uh, in the remote sensing community, at least at this stage. In order to improve the quality of Dolly 1, Dolly 2 was proposed. Uh, so in Dolly 2, we use CLIP which is a contrastive model. And since it's contrastive and not predict predictive, we can learn the joint embedding between images and their corresponding uh, text information. So uh, uh, through CLIP, we try to increase the similarities, the cosine similarities between images and the corresponding text description. And we try to uh, reduce uh, the similarities, the cosine similarity between incorrect encoded images and texts. After that, we can use this as the input uh, for the second stage, and we can use uh, two different types of priors here, autoregressive priors or diffusion priors to produce the image embedding. After that, uh, we use uh, another approach uh, also developed by OpenAI called GLEED, which is conditioned on uh, text information to produce realistic images uh, from text. After that, we use uh, some other approaches, again, based on diffusion models, to increase the quality of the inputs, uh, to, uh, to increase the quality of the output image to, 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 to the quality of 1024 by 1024. And here you can see uh, some outputs from Dolly 1 and Dolly 2. And as you can see, Dolly 2 uh, can produce um, images with higher quality than Dolly 1. And here you can see also another approach which was uh, developed by Google Brain called Imagine, in which uh, we also use text prompts to produce realistic or, uh, or, or interesting images with high qualities.